Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to count eighth notes. Now, hopefully you've watched the how to count chord notes video. If you didn't, you can just go ahead and check that out first. But if you're ready to count eighth notes, here we go. Take a look at the sheet music. You'll notice exercise one, I've written the count in there above it. Now I've written in one and two and three and four and. So if you're coming from the how to count chord notes video, you'll know that those are counted one, two, three, four. So for eighth notes, all we're doing is we're inserting an and in between there. So in the time it takes us to play four quarter notes, we can play eight eighth notes, all right? And all I mean by that is if I'm doing quarter notes in my left hand, one, two, three, four, I can play eight eighth notes in my right hand at the same time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay, now if you're gonna do one quarter note, that would equal two eighth notes. So one and, okay? And it's as simple as that. And once you kind of understand and grasp uh, this concept, you're gonna have no problem uh, identifying different note values within songs. So I know a lot of you guys wanna learn music. You wanna learn music by ear. And being able to identify what the drummer is playing, be able to listen to him like, okay, he's playing eighth notes there, he's playing chord notes here, okay, I can play this song, no problem. So let's just look at number one. Number one is just on the snare drum. Now I'm gonna do it alternating hands. Now I'm gonna do it at 70 beats per minute on the snare drum, here we go. You wanna make sure the spacing between those notes is also equal, okay? So you don't wanna go one and, two and, three and, four and, one and, two and, three and, four and, okay? It doesn't work like that. We gotta do it within time, and so that's why I try and play everything to a metronome or to have some sort of um, rhythmic thing to play along with. So if you wanna do this along to music, put on your favorite song, go one and, two and, three and, four and, that is totally cool. If you want to keep your hi-hat going um, and just opening up even with, with your heel, one, two, that's kind of your quarter note pulse and then you can play eighth notes over top of that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? So that's how you do that. Let's go on to num uh, number two. Number two is just around the drums. Two eighth notes on the snare drum, two on the high tone, two on the mid tone, two on the low tone. Again, I'm gonna alternate my hands. You could also just do it with one hand, one and two and three and four, if you want, okay? Here we go. So I say it all the time, Counting out loud is absolutely crucial. You'll see my mouth moving in some of these lessons. I know I look, I look like a friggin' idiot when I count out loud, when my mouth is moving like that, but we're all gonna look like idiots together because that's what we have to do to learn how to play a drum. So don't worry if you look like an idiot. The thing is, some people tell me I look like an idiot even when I'm not counting out loud and I'm just sitting here. You might think I look like an idiot right now, but let's move on. Don't Please don't call me an idiot in the comments or anything. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're doing, Eighth notes on the right hand on the hi-hat, okay? So one and two and three and four and. We're not gonna alternate, okay? We're not gonna go on, the, on like that. Then basically we're hitting the, the bass drum on the count one and count three, snare drum on count two and count four. So if you're counting out loud, all you have to do is hit the snare drum when you say two and when you say four, and then hit the bass drum when you say one and when you say three. So if you're gonna do it really, really slow, and I'll play it quiet so I can count at the same time, I would do one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's how that one sounds, okay? So let me play it for you guys at 70 beats per minute and you can hear how it sounds with the metronome.
So I hope you guys don't think I'm I'm patronizing you guys or anything. You're like, oh, who doesn't know how to count eighth notes? Of course I know this. Why are you sending me this video? Well, we all start somewhere. At some point, none of us knew what quarter notes were. None of us knew what eighth notes were. So if you already know this, we'll move on to the next video. We got a lot more out there, okay? But this is like gold, I think, for the drummer just starting out. It's absolutely crucial in building a foundation and everything will be way easier um, once you know how to count all the basic note values, all right? So just bear with us with all these videos. It's all good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get to uh, number four where we're inserting some rests. Now, if you watched the chord note video, you know we had a rest, a uh, chord note rest. So you know what that looks like, it's that squiggly line. And then on count four, we actually have an eighth note rest, okay? And just look at count four and you'll see exactly what an eighth note rest looks like. So when we get to that, we're counting out loud, just don't play anything. Okay? It's as simple as that. So I won't actually move it around the drums or anything for you. I'm just gonna play it for you on my leg. So I got one and two and three and four and 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 Okay, right? simple as that. I'm not even gonna play it for you guys because I know you can do that. Let's get to number five. Number five, we're playing the groove, the eighth note hi-hat groove there. Snare and tune four, kick and one and three. And then we're just gonna move around the drums using an eighth note fill and we're gonna alternate. Okay, so our right hand's gonna be going like this, doing eighth notes. And then we're gonna have to start moving around the drums going right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So I know um, this was something that was challenging for me when I first started out because you think that you should double the speed of your right hand, da, 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 like that. But that's the next video, okay? That's uh, 16th notes. So let me play this for you guys again at 70 beats per minute. So now you got it. I know you have it. You can count along with me as I play all these exercises and you can take it to your kit and I know these will be super, super easy to play. Um, so I'm just gonna play the last exercise for you. Basically we're resting on count two and count three. Just a simple eighth note rest. Here we go. There you have it. Now you know how to count eighth notes. You know how to count quarter notes. Move on to 16th notes next. I'll see you there. I think, yeah, I think we'll, we'll just bring up the 12 and hear how that sounds. Playing drums for the rest of your life. Watch two more minutes of this video. I mean, cut me a little slot here, will you? I mean, cut me some slack. I'm doing my best.